Hi. Joe Rogan recently came out with a very, very viral and popular podcast and video where he said 98% of chiropractic is BS. Well, I am a chiropractor. I run the evidence-based chiropractor, which is focused on chiropractic research, as well as working hand-in-hand -hand every day with John Hopkins-trained neurosurgeons and more. So I wanted to create a short video for Joe and everyone else out there showcasing where he was right, where he might be wrong, and a few items and tips so the next time that he visits a chiropractor, he can have a better experience. So where Joe was correct, and I think that he had a lot of great points, he just was a little bit misguided. So some things that Joe was correct on is that for many medical doctors, they don't focus on preventative maintenance of the spine. They're not talking about yoga. They're not talking about proper spinal hygiene. They're not talking about ergonomics ergonomics and sitting up straight and really strengthening those core muscles around the spine. Joe is 100% correct that typically medical doctors don't talk about that. Now, ironically, chiropractors are the best healthcare professionals to talk about exactly those topics. So if you are into CrossFit, if you are into staying active later in your years, if you want to have the highest quality of life, proper spinal hygiene, flexibility, and taking care of your spine under gravity is unbelievably important. But again, ironically, during Joe's 98% of chiropractic is BS, ironically, chiropractors are the best healthcare professionals to give advice directly on those topics. Also, Joe was correct. When a disc bulges or herniates, that can create a situation where that disc presses up against where a nerve travels out of the spine column. When there is compression on that nerve, if that happens in the neck, it can cause pain, numbness, tingling, and more down into the shoulders, arms, and hands. Now, if that compression, that disc pressing on the nerve happens in the low back, he is 100% correct. That can cause pain, numbness, tingling, sciatic-like symptoms down into the buttocks and into the legs. But again, rather ironically, chiropractic has been universally promoted and stood behind as the primary treatment option, the first treatment option that you should explore if you are suffering from a bulged or herniated disc. Groups like the American College of Physicians, the American Pain Society, prestigious research journals such as Spine Journal, European Spine Journal, and more have all made the recommendations that chiropractic care, chiropractic adjustments are one of the primary and should be the first option that you seek if you happen to be suffering from a bulged or a herniated disc. Now, obviously, Joe did not have the best experience with his chiropractor. And it's not fair of me to comment specifically on his case because I don't have his medical records in front of me. But there are a few items that I think he can learn as well as you that can help you have the best experience the next time you visit a chiropractor. Number one is communication is key. Joe kind of said, I was treated for over a year and then I got the MRI and there was a bulging disc and I knew I had it the whole time. And that's something that certainly, I think with better communication between him and his chiropractor, he could have solved that problem. Now, if you've been treated for more than six or eight weeks, if you have muscle atrophy, if you have worsening nerve pain, then absolutely an MRI may be indicated to be able to get a better look at the pathology or the problem that's causing that pain. Typically, MRIs are used, again, after there has been muscle atrophy, after there has been six to eight weeks of care, or if there is worsening neurological, as we call them, reflexes, nerve pains that are becoming progressively worse, then an MRI is one of the best tools to be able to see what is going on on the inside. But remember, even if that MRI comes back with a bulged or a herniated disc, 
quite often your best first line of defense that the research proves out time and time again is starting your care in a chiropractic office. So if you have any questions about this, please comment below. I would love to hear back what you have to say. I would also love it if Joe eventually saw this video. I would love to have a chat with him and see where I can provide value for him and more education regarding where chiropractic starts, where chiropractic stops, and what the current data says regarding the usage of chiropractic care. I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.